I would like to take us through several scriptures to begin with. Because we know, anybody who's read scriptures, we know that when we lie, our Creator hates that. Liars will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Revelation 21.8 But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murders, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Proverbs 19.9 A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will perish. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10, or do you not know that unrighteousness will not inherit the kingdom of Yah? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of Yah. First Timothy 1.10 The sexually immoral men who practice homosexuality, enslavers, liars, perjurers, and whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine. Revelation 22.15 Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and adulterers and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. That's what the scriptures say. Now, when we go and we look at a second source for copyright, who owns what? I show by the United States Copyright Administration, and I look up Hallelujah Scriptures, they own a copyright for the book of Yobelim. They own a copyright for a name's meaning book. They own a copyright for literally the Song of Moshe. They own the audio copyright for the greatest story ever told. What they own is they own four copyrights. They do not own a copyright on the actual word of our Creator. They do not own that and cannot own that because they stole the original copyrighted work from the Institute for Scripture Research in 2008 version is what they stole. Last night, 2 o'clock in the morning, again, I get a DMCA takedown. For those who do not know what a DMCA takedown is, it stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Anything that is digitized in that came from a published world, is able to obtain a copyright if it is your work. If it is your work. Now, this is what the Hallelujah Scriptures is lying to our providers. Let's. This is, again, 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 8 18. Hello, Cloudflare received a DMCA copyright infringement complaint regarding Yahoo and the Torah.net. The information we received was the following. Reporter's name. Robert Liu, copyright holder's name, Hallelujah Scriptures, Inc. Then it goes on, right? But this is what they say they have copyrighted. I want to count the lies up. Number one is they put the entire downloads directory, which does not have their stuff, right? It does nothing on my site is theirs. Nothing. It belongs to our creator. He's the one who did it. Now, if we take what they have and put Yobelum in there, then we have, let's take a look. One lie is downloads. That is not copyrighted. The restored name scriptures, not copyrighted. Two lies. Three, the Torah commands book. There's three lies. So we have Jubilees, right? And we have Jasher. So there's there's Jubilees. They, they do not own it on Jasher. So there's one. So right now we have one, two, three... Four lies they put here. They put the book of Enoch. Five. They put Yahudith. Six. They put uh, Hadassah. Esther edition. Seven. They don't own that. Tobit. They say they own. Eight lies. Sirach. They say they own. Nine lies. Baruch. They say, Ten lies. The letter of Yermiyahu. Jeremiah. Eleven lies. They say they own the prayer of Azariah. 
12 lies. They say they own Shoshana, 13 lies. They say they own Daniel, the additions of Bel and the dragon, 14 lies. So we have 2nd Ezra, 15 lies. We have the prayers of Manasseh, 16 lies. We have Maccabees 1 and 2, 17 and 18 lies. Now we have the uh, wisdom of, of Solomon, 19 lies. We have the pictograph of left bet flashcards, 19 lies. And the only one that they have on here is the, the full audiobook collection, right? That They say it's the original work. So what does Cloudflare say? Well, they say we, they've forwarded this complaint to your hosting provider. This is the second one. Cloudflare is getting manipulated just like everywhere else that the Hallelujah Scripture grifters do. Now, if we are selling the word of our creator, if we are making money off of it, and if we are telling more lies and telling everybody it's free and that everybody gets a free copy, in fact, they don't say everybody gets a free copy. In fact, on their website, they say they can't provide a free copy to everybody, but they don't provide anywhere near the free copies they say. And because we have receipts for $60,000 in gold, $10,000 in silver purchased in 2020, we have a house from the hands of love that they purchased in 2018. Then they paid it off with donations from the Hallelujah Scriptures around that same time, 2019, 2020. They paid their, their little um, hands of love back using donated money. Right now, these people are living an extravagant lifestyle in New Zealand. They have a tremendous house, they have a pool, they have all of this stuff, and they're doing it on the backs, but if you read what the Holy Scripture says, they say nobody makes any money from it, they say nobody has paid any kind of wages, they say that nobody gets anything, and that 100% of it goes to printing and shipping. Everything the Hallelujah Scripture says is a lie. These people are liars. They're filthy filthy liars and they're being exposed day after day these are the copyrights they own which is for whatever reason they got the book of yobelum name means the song of moshe and the audio book which is the torah that they which they didn't even do the the people they had working for them did now i see that the holy scriptures just sound a whole bunch of new stuff about postal agents being needed Guys, if you're a postal agent or if you're looking to be a postal agent for the Holy Scriptures, you're going to get owned. I have interviewed four ex-postal agents. Every single postal agent, the very first time they ever start questioning the psychopathic Deborah Wessel, she goes completely crazy. Do you want to know why they have so many postal agents all over the place? Is because all the postal agents catch on to the grift. Every one of these postal agents are being used, abused, tossed out, and they leave them in the streets. This woman, Deborah Wessel, has built her entire 13-year operation beating people up. A lot of people are angry at me. They're like, Jason, you're just beating these people up. I'm not. I am exposing evil. There has been 50 of me that have come by in the last 13 years that have attempted to battle Deborah Wessel. They've all gotten owned. They've all gotten beat up. She has a, a, a chink in everybody's armor. She was able to find out everything. And one day, this is the power of our creator. One day, he's going to rise up a team of people and they're going to do righteousness. They're going to do justice. They're going to do what our creator has said to do, and that is to be honest. And this is the word of our most high. We're not talking about any other scam other than the most evil scam in the world. Selling, hoarding, and racketeering the word of our creator on the backs of people for years and making yourself rich, making yourself a very good living while you destroy the postal couriers. If you want to be owned, if you want to get completely annihilated, hook up with the Hallelujah Scriptures. I have never run into one single person that has not been completely decimated by Deborah Wessel. So guys, please let everybody know if there's a postal agent that you're just thinking about it, if you, you know, these videos are getting around. 
It's not just that these videos are here. These videos are on 153news.net where there's 35,000 people a day that now know that the Hallelujah Scriptures is a grift, that it is an evil grift. I believe the Hallelujah Scriptures should continue on under new management, under new leadership. I believe the Federal Bureau of Investigation should take this company out. They need to return the house, the gold, the silver, and the million-dollar house that Deborah Wessel lives in right now with her nice big cush pool, and they need to return it to the people. There have been a tremendous amount of people that have donated since 2018 to, to right now. And there's been a tremendous amount of people in that time that haven't received free scriptures while these people are raking in this money. We must expose this evil and we must be strong. And we must see this to the end. I love y'all. I'm out.